Uh, Dumbledore star's son slams HBO's quote-unquote pointless Harry Potter TV series. You're about to hear a dumb take. He was only Dumbledore in two movies. And yeah, he was better than Michael Gambon. Absolutely better than Michael Gambon. I wish he would have been Dumbledore for the entire series. This is still a dumb take. Uh, Jared Harris, uh, son of the late Richard Harris, who played Professor Dumbledore in the first two Harry Potter movies, thinks HBO's upcoming reboot is unnecessary because he's probably never read the books. Uh, after years of back and forth development, the Harry Potter TV show has finally started pre-production with a casting call posted for the series' uh, major actors. Despite adding fresh blood to the Wizarding World, there's demand for a few familiar faces to step back into their roles from the movies. Yes, I think Dumbledore should be played by um, uh, Gary Oldman. Some of Harry Potter's original actors have died since the movies were made, like Richard Harris, who played Professor Dumbledore. So viewers hoped his son, Jared, who starred in Chernobyl... Uh, and the terror would want to fill his dad's shoes when the independent asked if he was up for the task. He responded, no, thank you. Good. Good. He doesn't look the part. I don't think he can act the part. Um, no, especially with this terrible attitude. Harris added also, I mean, why do it? I don't understand. The films were fantastic. Leave them alone. No. No, the films were okay. They left out a lot of important details from the books. That's why they're doing a TV show. If you read the books, you would understand there was a lot of stuff in the books that got left out of the movies. There was a lot of stuff in the books that got changed in the movies and not for the better. Do the TV show so you have the opportunity to actually stay close to the source material. There are people who are like, did you know that it's possible that Neville could have been the chosen one because uh, the prophecy said on this date and the thing and and maybe the fans have a theory here except the fan theory about Neville having the possibility of being the chosen one but wasn't because Voldemort chose Harry is stated out right in the book so it's not a fan theory because you're not a real fan if you haven't read the fucking books Also, leaving Peeves out of the movies should have been criminally charged. Along with the, uh, the Sorcerer's Stone thing, which I've ranted about before. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why they need to do a TV series, to stay close to the source material, because you just don't have the time to do that in the movies. The actor echoed a common sentiment online from people who think that uh, uh, the, uh, the movies are fine on their own. Uh, with many people puzzled by the urge to adapt J.K. Rowling's books into a new TV show when anyone can check out the existing eight movies wherever they please because there are so many pieces of the story missing. That's why. The movies assume you have read the books and don't care that the books or that the movies got the books wrong. Some of the details, they do assume that you just read it in the books. A lot of the details are also changed, which means if you actually did read the books, you get really mad that they made those adaptations. Harry Potter TV show is a terrible idea. You want a one-to-one -one ad adaptation of the books? Yes. Uh, you need to see subplots like Hermione tries to free slaves, but they love being slaves, and Harry and Ron do so much homework. One fan posted on Twitter. Yes, because it's world-building. It's um, is actually major plot points. It's story arc for the main characters. They provide story arcs between the three and those three individual characters go through a story arc because of those, um, uh, those particular events in the books. Things that you don't see. So they become two-dimensional characters in the, in the movies because you're missing all of that subtext, all of that, that, that building of the character and the world. Another fan explained their conflicted feelings about the series, writing, part of me is happy it's going to be fleshed out more, but it's upsetting where uh, we don't have enough new ideas these days that we constantly got to go back to reboot things that genuinely don't need a reboot. No, Harry Potter is one of the things that genuinely does need a reboot, has needed a reboot since they did the story badly in the first place. 
HBO's Harry Potter series is expected to last at least 10 years as Warner Brothers. The company behind the IP is set on fully adapting each of Rowling's seven books in a way the movies couldn't do to their limited to- uh, run times. If Harris isn't interested in reprising his father's role, one Harry Potter star definitely wants to play Dumbledore, Gary Oldman. Yes, and I said that something like six or seven years ago. 